What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Dillian the Body Snatcher White. Dillian White, according to Eddie Hearn, he wants him on the undercard of Anthony Joshua and Ruiz. I'm sorry, Ruiz and Anthony Joshua, too. Okay, and he is not serving a banned sentence. He's in process of trying to clear his name with UCAD, but he is cleared to fight people. So the thing is, will he get that date? Eddie Hearn states that I would like him to, he would like to. So what's the deal? What's the problem? The problem is to me, the most, the most challenging problem with Dillian White is his mind mentally, is his mind. How is he thinking? Is it clear enough? Is it focused enough to fight? Mark Tibbs says they've done a few training camps together and, uh, well, a few training sessions, okay? Not training camps, right? But they've done a little work together, you know, in the gym, doing other things, but he needs to be 100% focused on that day to fight whoever. And I think it would be a great addition to that card if you put Dillian White versus whoever on that card. Hell, why not Dillian White and Jarrell Miller? Why not? That would be awesome if you had those guys, four heavyweights, two Americans, two British, right? And they're going at it. British versus America, British versus America. That would be epic to me. But again, this is a suggestion by Eddie Hearn. And he want, but he wants him to fight sometime this year. We know that he's going to come back sometimes this year, but we don't really know when. Um, I think Dillian White's ready to get back at it. I think he's frustrated, definitely. And I, it, if anything, it, it's that. It's frustration. Especially if you didn't do shit. Now, one thing about someone that cheats, okay, if they cheat, they cheat. But if they didn't cheat at all, and then somebody does, you know, doing what they call that, the stitch up. And land and plotting some shit on him. What could you say about that? That's just, that's horrific. You know what I mean? Because how can you prove that someone didn't? But if it truly happened and someone's out to get Dillian White, maybe he talked too much, maybe he, you know, ruffled the wrong feathers, maybe he did too much to the wrong people, Right? And they got him. They set him up. They added something. They added a story. They leaked a story, whatever. Because again, this wasn't even supposed to be leaked, but the whole thing was, it was leaked. So we go back to the real of the real. Like, okay, he was cleared to fight that Saturday, June 20th or July 20th, right? Against Oscar Rivas. And they let him fight. Well, if they were the ones that tested him dirty, they should be the ones held fully responsible. Now they're just like, shh. So again, talking of the future instead of the past, Dillian White, I think, should take any opportunity he can get to get back into the ring. Even if it's a person that is lower, lower level, uh, I think that Dillian White has been on a, somewhat of an Anthony Joshua like aggressive style of fighting the top fighters. You know what I'm saying? Like those two guys, Joshua and White, have fought some of the best in the division that you could fight or could face. You know what I mean? And I think someone like Dillian White with a resume, with a reputation, with only one professional loss, I think he deserves another shot like all the other people that tested dirty, if that's the case, if that's the case. Emphasis on that, okay? So yeah, it, it's an exciting thing to hear Dillian White get back into the ring. I wanna see him on that undercard. You know what I mean? Because it's basically whatever Dillian White does, if he comes back and he wins in dynamic fashion and he fights someone worth a damn like we hope, and he does it in... A night in, in a in a vicious fashion, right? In a body snatching fashion. Hey, he they, whoever the winner is out of that fight could fight the winner out of Ruiz and Josh, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
It's just so much that could be involved with that because we got we can't uh, forget the WBC and all that stuff and the mandatory. Have they gave that back to them? You know what's the deal? What are they waiting for? I guess they're waiting for UCAD. What are you? What is UCAD waiting for? We don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but it does seem good. Uh, I like how Eddie's looking at it positive, and I hope Eddie does get him on that undercard. And I wish the best for Dillian White. I hope he gets back because, you know, without him in the heavyweight division, you know what I mean? Sure, we have newcomers and all the time if they get an opportunity. You know, we got Otto Weiland. Hey, what about Otto Weiland? <laughs> See what he does against another heavyweight. Why not? Let's match them up, people. Okay. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn's statements regarding Dillian White. I'll leave the link below. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.